Good morning, children. Children, we have done subject and predicate, remember? And we have done exercise number 1 and 2. Today, we are going to do exercise number 3. The same procedure is to be done in this exercise also. You have to identify the subject and predicate in the sentence. Okay, children. The first sentence is, the basket is full of mangoes. So, in this sentence, what we are talking about? We are talking about basket. So, subject is the basket and the rest part is, is full of mangoes is predicate. So, you have to ask one question only. What we are talking about? Whom we are talking about? The sec second sentence is the dogs bark at the strangers. So, in this sentence, whom we are talking about? We are talking about dogs. So, the dogs is subject and rest part bark at the strangers predicate. Okay. Now, the third sentence is the moon shines at night. The subject is the moon and predicate is shines at night. Now, let's see the other one. The sheep are grazing in the field. So, whom we are talking about? We are talking about sheep. So, the sheep is subject and rest part are grazing in the field is predicate. Maria is reading a book. Who is reading a book? Whom we are talking about? Maria. So, Maria is the subject and is reading a book is predicate. So, same type of exercise this is also and I hope you will be able to do nicely. Children, there is nothing difficult in this exercise. Same thing you have to done, you have to do and uh, sentences are say, uh, different but the ex method of exercise is same. So, children do it in the fair copy. Okay. And try to understand and read aloud while writing the sentence. When you will write the sentence, you have to read aloud. Understood? And understand the meaning of the sentence also. Okay. We will meet in the next English class with the new topic. Bye-bye.